In this video, we're going to look at calculating mu and sigma. So in this question, it says the following, the heights of a population of men are normally distributed with mean mu and standard deviation sigma. It is known that 20% of the men are taller than 180 centimeters and 5% are shorter than 170 centimeters. Sketch a diagram to show the distribution of heights represented by this information. Find mu and sigma and then Three men are selected at random. Find the probability that they are all taller than 175 centimeters. So the first thing we do for a question like this is to draw a normal diagram. So I'm gonna draw a normal diagram here. We call this phi of z. We call this z. And because it's a standard normal, its mean is always zero. So what we're going to do here is say, well, okay, now we know that 20% are taller than 180, but we, we can shade this and call this 0 0.20, but we don't know what the Z value is here. But we know that 5% is less than 170, but again, we don't know what the Z value is. So we can write in the probabilities. So in order to work out what the Z values are, we're gonna to have to use our calculator. So we can get our calculator here, go to menu, option seven, press three for the inverse normal. Now I'm gonna do the first case, we're gonna be less than or equal to. Now by default, the normal distribution is always less than or equal to a number. So the number I get out will be the Z value for that for 0 0.05. So I'm gonna put in 0 0.05, the standard deviation is one, the mean is zero, and that will give me 1.6449. Now I'm gonna round this to 1.6449 or minus 1.6449 because that's what the small table in the formula booklet will have it as well. So I'm gonna have it as minus 1.6449 rounded to four decimal places. If you wish to use the true value on your calculator, you're more than welcome to do so. Now, for the next case, we can't find the probability that you're greater than a certain value in 20%. But remember, remember, the normal distribution is always less than or equal to a certain value. So in our case, we can say everything up to this point is 80% or 0 0.80. So we can say that the area would be 0 0.80. And the standard deviation is one, mu is going to be zero and that would give me 0 0.8416 to four decimal places so I get 0 0.8416 now I'm going to use the formula that z is x minus mu over sigma and I can form some simultaneous equations here I know my z value which is minus 1.6449 that is equal to now I know that corresponds to an x value of 170. So that's 170 minus the mean divided by sigma. I can form an equation here by saying minus 1.6449 multiplied by sigma is 170 minus mu. And that will give me mu minus 1.6449 sigma equals to 170. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to say, well, the following here, 0 0.8416, that corresponds to an X value of 180. So it's 180 minus mu all divided by sigma. So I get 0 0.8416 sigma is 180 minus mu. So I get mu plus 0 0.8416 sigma equals to one. 80. So now I've got a pair of simultaneous equations. So again, so I'm going to use a calculator here to solve this. So we're going to get our calculator. We're going to go back to the main menu, press the menu here. And what we do, you press alpha, you press the minus sign, and we're going to choose option one for simultaneous equation. And it's going to be two unknowns. And we can put our coefficients in. So the coefficient of mu is one, then we've got minus 1.6449, press equals 170, press equals, then we go to the next equation, which is going to be the coefficient of mu is one, 
Then we've got 0 0.8416 press equals and then we've got 180 then we'll press equals and then I get the following values. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the full values out and then round later. So then I get X refers to mu, so that's 176.6 um, 153227. Uh, so I can say mu is rounded to 176.6. Sigma, again, I'm gonna write the true value out, press equals. So um, I'm going to get 4.02171273. Yes, that's correct. So, and that rounds up to approximately 4.02 for sigma. So now that I've found mu and sigma, we've done part B. Now, for part C, it says three men are selected at random. Find the probability that they are all taller than 175 centimeters. So what we do is we say, right, so we want the probability, part C here, um, that, that the man chosen is greater than 175. So we can get that from our calculator. Now, so what I'm going to do is Go back to the main range, which is option seven, number two, and say, well, the lower limit is going to be 175. The upper limit is we're going to call a million, which which is really representing positive infinity. Um, now we have to be careful that the standard deviation, I'll write the true value out, is 4.02171273, and that the mean is 176.6. One five three two two seven, and then I press equals. That will give me zero point six five six, and so on. Now, because there's three men, it's one person is greater than one hundred seventy-five, and the second person, and the third person. So we do zero point five, zero point six five six, raised to the power of three, and that'll give you the answer. So. I can just go back to my calculator, get my last value, raise it to the power of three, and we get 0 0.2823, and we are done.